Welcome back to Bastion, guys. How's it going? How's it going, Dave? Have you been? I'm alive. Uh, I've been trapped in an upload factory for several days now. Yeah. Tell my wife and children I love them. Is your mic even on? Is it not? It's on. Okay, you're just talking real quiet. Damn. For effect, Dev. <laughs> for effect? Yes. Ah, God. But people don't actually know how to act to use. Oh, dude, I'm so sore. Listen, uh, since you're my employee, the next job I'm going to have you do is to give me a full body massage. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I quit a thousand times. <laughs> so I worked out for the first time in a while, at least a few weeks yesterday, and oh boy, it's like, if you haven't, if it's been like three weeks since you worked out, working out again is like working out for the first time. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. It just fucking... Oh God! It's it's just destructive. Yeah, if there's anyone, if there's anyone that can use a massage, it's me. Oh, okay, we can do. I can do it. Not from you. <laughs> Someone that knows what they're doing. The Langston River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. Very good reason why there hasn't been an HR department yet. I'm not gonna have it in a fucking HR department. I plan to fucking fully sexually exploit all of my employees. All of my hate. That's how it's gonna be, dude. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, listen, that's part of the job. You don't, it's okay, you don't have to work here. You can work somewhere else. Dev, you have to actually make something of yourself before you oh, turn to Harvey Weinstein. Dom is offering a four way massage. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, that's weird. <laughs> Feels good, man. Lucky for him. Dev is the HR department. Yeah, pretty much. Heavily rectal. Got your leg cast coming off in 10 days. Getting back into it is going to be brutal. Dude, when you like stick your, your nose into a cast, it really smells in there, doesn't it? Oh, I can imagine. You ever broke your... You ever broke it at anything? I broke my finger. My left middle finger. Yeah, I broke my toe when I was a kid, like really young. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Nah. Security skiff pulls up port side. Now he's just another windbag to those guys. I know it smelled crazy in there. <laughs> That's like a new meme. It smelled crazy in there. Just then. The Dev is the new leader of Blizzard Activision. Holy fuck. Oh god. Did you not die? Dev is like, a Randy Pitchford. Two of this fucking place. seconds into the goddamn stream. This is quite. You, Jesus. Quite, this is quite tricky, by the way. They try to cut her off. Dave gonna, Dave gonna be Which like Eliza Duke Shu getting millions for a cord making a threesome joke. That's such bullshit. Like, I, okay, I understand legitimate oh harassment at work, but if someone's joking around and it's like, now nah, you, now I get millions from you because you made a joke that I didn't like. Fuck, I, I hate oh, that shit. Nelly tries hard. Yeah, that's pretty bullshit. Try she might go. She hits a snap. Not By the way, if you unionize, I'm firing you. Kids gotta help her get up. <laughs> Favors for favors. Oh, dude, House of Ashes got in, got updated. Want to go back and play that game? <laughs> uh, no, I think I got the best ending I could ever think of. Really, I mean. Oh, I thank you very much, uh, Princess Titch, for the sub. What's up, Cheers, gamers? Titch. Gamers. Gamers. I posted on Twitter today that I run a, a better worker cooperative than almost all the bread tubers because I, I give you half of all YouTube profits. Yep. <laughs> it's like, so cool. I feel when the, the capitalist is the one that is more more generous with money. <laughs> <laughs> almost like there's some kind of bullshit, <clears throat> pardon me, griff going on right now. Yep. The enemy core is a pier. I guess because capitalists, for whatever faults they may have, understand the fucking value of a dollar. Which means they know what to pay people and they're worth it. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a there's a video of me force feeding Dom. Someone would probably masturbate into that. It was you! <laughs> yeah, you both think on grunt work, that's true, Dom. But here's the thing, I'm still exploiting Dave because Dave doesn't own the means of production. So I'm not like goddamn communist like you, Dev. <laughs> like me? <laughs> yeah. Rest of us only wish we could fly. Plus, I don't want to. You don't want to have all the responsibility to that idea. Yeah, because here's the thing if you actually had 50% ownership, I'd be like, Dave, time for us to expand. Start coughing up that capital. 
to start, you know, be like, okay, Dave, we need ten thousand dollars to to buy this thing to upgrade to to, to uh, move forward in the business. We're co-owners. We each put forward five thousand. That, that's that's what being a co-owner is. That would be that, down the line quite a ways. Well, no, what, hold on. I did it before there was any money coming in. <laughs> that's what makes me the owner. I took the risk. <laughs> I had to go. I had to go play in the kiddie pool for a while. No, I know, I know. But still, like, that is the technical reason why why people own businesses because they they spend their own money on them. Oh gosh! Bonk. Fuck me. DM me the information on that, Flaming. I saw Gundam's video on it, but I don't know the truth. I don't know the full story. Or oh, that, that painter thing? No, that's something else. Oh. So what is this, like, deliverance in the sky? You are like river rafting, aren't you? Hey, it's okay, you not, not far off, yeah. Hey, Avalon, what's up? You fucking spammer. Now oh, fuck you. You're bad. Seems a calamity. Eggers No, yeah, white ninja. He, he's holding up the simp sign. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Do you guys like Toho? Um, yes, but not like religiously. Yeah, it's, we've we've played we've played a few rounds and not in the show. No, not in the show. I mean, here's the thing. Anybody in the West who likes Toho likes Toho because of the um, that McDonald's meme from like ten years ago, so. where uh, Ronald McDonald's dancing around to, to one of the Toho songs. Oh God, I don't even remember that. And he, and he like falls backward on the bench, and there's like three of him doing doing like like in synchronized dance. You know what I'm talking about, right? It was a big fucking thing. Oh, I probably recognize the way. So I, I just. Okay. One of those things I just haven't thought of for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> he always face plants in, doesn't he? Yeah, he's like you and Zelda. <laughs> yeah, Toho has some excellent music. I don't know why I'd been voice like my head. Oh yeah, of course, the Bad Apple video. It was weird, like, when I first met Naomi, she had Bad Apple on her, um, on her phone to listen to. And I was like... You don't know what this is from? She's like, no, it's just a nice song. The city was the most beautiful place like, God damn it. The we all knew that. Hipster. Yeah, I've seen that white ninja. But here's the thing, I've actually tried it. Like, but on the, other hand, the, the problem with games like Toho is that they, the in my opinion, you kind of get what they're about really quick. Because love, it? it's like, oh, it's patterns. And then you learn the pattern and then you win. And then you do that for 15 games. Because there's no actual like level, it's just <laughs> it's just patterns. It's just patterns. You're flying through an empty sky with patterns of enemies. And then patterns of bullets. They're the kid here, so me ain't heard of it. it basically it's it, simplistic it's, for you, feller. It is it there's there's like it's there has way less replayability than other other games How's in my it opinion. Go again? Crap. <laughs> it's goofy. I used to look at that shoddy, eh? You're using a lot yeah, of it. It's uh, kind of handy. One. Oh gosh, I'm I'm tripping bows. <laughs> oh god, I'm tripping. Oh guys, I uploaded yeah, a, 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 an, an emote bro. for for uh, of a tripping Pepe. So post that right now. Is there really no way to do this without? I don't know. There it is. There's tripping know, Pepe. They go tripper dude. No, I don't want to die. <laughs> right, I could be different. Hey, you have a shield, dude. <laughs> Shields are for cuts. You have noticed? This guy in game doesn't look much like his official artwork. I don't know. He's like much skinnier in his official artwork. And this one, he's kind of buff. Like he's kind of. He's kinda, I think it's because they, they. He's like muscular. Kind of compressed. They compressed it. Maybe. But like yeah. in the actual official artwork, he's he's like a fucking 
femboy almost. Well, look at Final Fantasy though. Yeah, Final Fantasy is that too. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sword air. Sword air. Sword air. So let's go. Sword is. Sword is. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Dave. It's fine. I call it. No one's ever really gone. <laughs> <laughs> Sawdust. Saw this Jap Japanese, Japanese Japanese blanket. Can you imagine? I can. <laughs> Japanese Rich Evans. Rich Evans in a kimono. <laughs> samurai hair. And he's in a yellow face. <laughs> oh no! I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking of Sam in a kimono. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. Okay, so before the stream today, Naomi and I watched Big Trouble in Little China with Rich Evans. <laughs> no, it's John Carpenter's greatest movie. I agree. I, I, I agree with you. He's made some other good movies. Yep, Halloween. He made um, The Thing as well. The Thing. And then uh, he also made um, Escape from, Escape uh, from New, New York. York in L.A. Well, I haven't yep. seen L.A. because it looked like more of the same. Yep. Escape from New York is really good, though. That was, yes. that was a fun, but that's a fun movie to watch. His best movie, in my opinion. And his fucking weirdest movie, yes. or one of, is... No, I think it is his weirdest. ...is uh, Big Trouble Little China. Oh, yeah. I remember a Spoonie saying that a fan at one point gifted him a uh, a jacket. Or oh, Jack Burton jacket? No, 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 a jacket of uh, th that Wang had. Wang's jacket, like, like the, the restaurant. Oh, the restaurant right. like delivery guy jacket or whatever. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. What was the restaurant called? The Black Dragon or something? Uh, dude, you literally just watched them. The Golden Dragon. I haven't the seen the Red Dragon, uh, the Green Dragon, Golden Dragon. The some red some dragon. kind of a fucking dragon. <laughs> yeah, but know. the point is, that, like the the um, the jacket that he wears for most of the movie. Um. Someone gave Spoonie. So it was the actual jacket? Like, they got it from the set or something like that? Or was it like a rough it, it, it was one of... Like, like one of the many jackets that were used. Because, like, you know... Yeah. There's always a lot. We gotta, you gotta have extras too. for yeah. wardrobe because, you know, things can get destroyed so easily. It's like, damn, dude. Wasted on Spoonie. <laughs> I mean... Apparently, uh, Spoonie has Juwario's hat. No, he doesn't. That's a replica. That's not his real hat. Oh, okay. That one, that, that one I know for a fact. Well, it was the same wiki that said that you were born in 1991 and <laughs> somehow I never existed. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. It's like his roommate hates anime and it's like, dude, even though like, dude, the article's the, clearly about you. There's there's one... Okay, there's one... Um, somebody somewhere on the internet said that I'm from Texas. And that apparently I like molested girls in a high school in Texas. No, I thought it was you, like you were showing them hentai. Something I don't know. It was stupid though, and it wasn't real. I don't think it was. I don't know. It was like molester. Okay. Yet, but it was I've never been to Texas. Yeah. <laughs> Can't confirm. Another by. You've been to Florida like once. Uh, uh, yes, once. I've been to Florida, New York, and LA once a piece, but never Texas. And I've been on the west coast of Canada once, and I've been on the east coast of Canada many times. And I'm a ghost, so I can go over. I'm not sure traveling. No point explaining. The, the, the furthest that. Dave travels is like to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, and this funny thing is, is I'm the one that's wanting to travel more. I think the reason you want to travel more is because I've done more of it than you have, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. Like I still want to do some traveling, but like you know what I mean. I think like you're yearning for it in a way that I'm not anymore. Because I've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've always been interested in, you know, yeah, besides, it's like the geography film. and like human geography, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, yeah. Cultures. My God. I never heard about that at all, Fenlander. Oh, dude. The girl. They'll be here before too long. Yeah. The singer agreed to return to the bastion. Yes, sir. You see, even here he looks like thinner. Yeah. Yeah, the actual model is. It, it seems like it's kind of uh, back, crunched they? down. Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow Ura again. What are Uras? Just like these short people? I guess. They're just like midgets. They become fast friends. <laughs> Calamity has that effect. It might just be the way they're drawn. Maybe. <laughs> was it? I'm not naughty. I'm just drawn that way. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jessica Rabbit. Oh, did she sell stuff? Of the earth, I never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised right. in the city like Zia here. The spice. Let the spice the flow. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I still haven't seen that movie. And I'm... I'm I really don't like going out to those places anymore because of all the old Girl Oh, you mean like movie theaters? Well, anywhere that involves having to present my passport. Yeah. Have you had to do that yet? And yes. how have you have you, yeah. how have you enjoyed doing it? Uh, I did it once to go for sushi. Yeah. Um... And Dave's a passport it, cut, it, guys. It, it, it was pretty degrading. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. And the girl at the restaurant, I was also not like super unimpressed about having to do it. Third time's a charm, right? Wrong. Wrong. All right. So Ontario's premier, who's probably saying it just to try and get reelected is saying that he estimates that they'll get rid of the masks the and the passports by March. Yep. And we'll just be back to normal. Completely. Yep. Fucking hope so. I have a feeling that he's dangling a carrot just to try to get reelected, then he'll pull it away later. Maybe. But he probably won't, the election probably won't be till uh, May or June, just like it was last time. Yeah. It's most likely. Well, here's the thing, though. If he if he if he stops all the restrictions and then cases go back up, he will definitely lose lose re-election. So yeah. Too much. Pressing X the doubt. Yeah. Two weeks to slow the spread. <laughs> mm, that's not good. You know, the more I kind of keep a pulse on things, the more I've noticed that there are people who are just not asking for passports anymore. They're already at that point. It's been like, what, a month? And they're just like, we're not asking you for passports anymore. Just don't fucking say anything. Yeah. yeah good, good point, Don. Uh, yeah. All right, I was not going to bother with this. I wanted to wait for that. Again. If only I'd known half the secrets of the calamity were tucked away in that book, I'd have worked to translate it right away. Right a lot away. of rocks. Right. What's in the Tron? Uh, so... No, it's still shitty. Yeah. Oh, man. So, speaking of um, um, the movie that we watched, Big Trouble Little China, mm -hmm. what the fuck is up with that movie? <laughs> it's so fuck, dude. <laughs> like, is this like... Every bit of Chinese mythology is on acid. Yes. And they got like these wizards flying around with lightning and shit and there's like just like giant street wars. Oh yeah. And they and they like go like into the center of the earth. <laughs> it's just, just fucking it's a fucking weird weird movie. And the main guy Fine he's keepers. he's just Are you talking about Jack? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, whole, that's the point, though. Yeah. The, it's the, the point is that he is he is actually just trying to live his life, and he gets sucked into this this pocket world of insanity. Yeah. And he's like, I just want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I just, I just want to go, and like, just finish my job and, yeah. you know, keep on trucking. Yeah. Hey, 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 you, you, go, you don't go waiting. You go buying stuff. But, yeah, man, like, just fucking strange, isn't it? Yep. Because, these guys, okay, so for those of you who don't know, this guy's a trucker, and he, he drives into San Francisco delivering a load. He, he meets with one of his friends in Chinatown. His friend has, like, an arranged marriage, and his wife is flying to the States. Yep. And then, like, this rival Chinese gang attacks and kidnaps her. And then it turns out that, like, everything about Chinese mythology is real because they have, like, these fucking kung fu wizards that are throwing lightning bolts, and they're, like, making things levitate and shit. <laughs> and there's like there's there's an ancient demon who thousands of years ago was Lopan. Yeah, Lopan. <laughs> Lopan was 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 cursed by the first Chinese emperor to unify China. <laughs> and he's been waiting ever since for like these these prophesized women to showed up to to show up to make him mortal again. <laughs> and like this is all just happening in San Francisco. Wow. And this dude, this white dude, even though the entire story is about his friend, this white dude is the main character, 
and he he gets wrapped up in it because he loses well, no. his truck. He's and the main he has character. To get his but, truck back. Yeah, he's the main character, but he's also the dude Aragonist, not the protagonist. Yes. He is not. He is not the true hero. No. He's just this dipshit that gets thrown into this this world beyond his his knowledge and control, and is extremely baffled by it, and yet says, "Fuck it." Well, I, I saw the yeah. desert die. And he's like an idiot the whole fucking. Oh, movie he's so too. dumb. Like everyone he's else, a clown. Everyone else is like doing these crazy kung fu moves, and he's just like tripping over himself, like firing at the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Burton thinks he was the main character in a western action movie but he's really the, the comedy sidekick in a Chinese actor movie it's yeah. true it's exactly what, are you what doing, it man? is get, get on to a, a mission let's get going kid surprised when I tell him there's only one core left I shouldn't have believed it either <laughs> let's go the memorial the kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind Oh. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. And I, I think more. I think the funniest part of the whole thing is like So in most in most stories where the alternate world is actually part of the main world. Like I don't I don't mean like you go to an alternate world like Escaflone or something. Or or like any, yeah. or, or, or like any 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 other I uploaded that. Or, or or like any other Iska. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking more, more like Harry Potter. Where the alternate worlds in our world, they just keep themselves hidden. Like there's like a hidden society. You know, that is one of these movies. But there's no like, there's no like uh, masquerade like in Vampire the Masquerade. There's no like um, international statute of secrecy like with Harry Potter. It's just that. No, he literally just broke the fourth wall. Well, no, it's not that. Y yeah. Yeah. It, it's funny because this happens out in the open in Chinatown, but where, where, where so people don't go. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah. That, yeah well, that, that's what it is, though, because like they're shooting lightning bolts around, they're doing all this crazy supernatural shit, and the only reason nobody knows about it is because they do it in Chinatown. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> no one gives a shit what happens in Chinatown. Oh yeah. Oh sweet. This is like end of the Gungeon stuff. Nice. Savage things lurking at every turn. Oh my god, is it another gungeon? <laughs> Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. You're going, you're going pretty slow though when you have them out. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Dude, use your fucking. <laughs> Didn't expect the kid so soon. Definitely not. Mm, nope. Wow, that's that was rough. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, good movie. I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm happy I showed Naomi it finally because she had no fucking clue what, what we would reference occasionally. <laughs> Good old low pan. I don't really reference. Uh, I've referenced it a few times. I don't really reference specific lines, but I do. I do mention it. And the fact that like three, the three ninjas grandpa is the uh, the tour guy. <laughs> well, dude, the fact that we fucking we referenced like Wet Hot American Summer for years and we never saw it, she just rolled with it. And I was like, oh shit, we should watch that fucking movie. <laughs> It's okay, Dom will never, never, never get it. Neville, ne Dom will never get it. She'll never. <laughs> Too much dude, Harry Potter. Dude, you're, you're gonna get cucked now by by Neville Longbottom's actor, uh, who ended up being the hottest one of them all. Yeah, he's a pretty so. looking guy. <laughs> he's one of the people. He's one of the characters in all creatures great and small. So, fuck, man, I had a dream last night that they were making a movie version of Methods of Rationality, and it was the best possible world I could have lived. And then I had to wake up. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Sucks with you, bitch. <laughs> it's a really good story, man. I don't know why you haven't you haven't fucking read it yet. Or well, part of it. Basically, I dreamed a trailer, and the trailer was very simple. All right, it was one of those trailers that, 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 that like starts in like a black screen, and it has Racist. it has Dumbledore saying, "If Harry Potter and Voldemort fight their war with Muggle weapons, there'll be nothing left of the world but fire," and then it like. It just shows Harry Potter's face with like a different actor than Daniel Radcliffe because it wouldn't have to be. 
and then it just said Harry Potter Master Rationality. And I was like, that's a really damn good trailer. Very simple, and it tells you exactly what's going on. I mean, and then I woke up. <laughs> never say never, because <laughs> it's probably gonna happen. Rolling, will, rolling will get so friggin' desperate to stay relevant. Yeah, but here's the thing: she's making her current movies now, like the Fantastic Beasts, and they they but suck. They're but terrible. They're terrible, but they're at least making money. And I guess that's all you can ask for. Yeah. Harry Potter's played by Tom Holland. You know, I think Tom no. Holland's still taller than, uh, than <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the fan edit of Sorcerer's Stone that replaces all the wands with guns? No, and also it's Philosopher's Stone, you fucking America! Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh... It's pretty embarrassing. It's yeah. the, one of the only countries that, that had it changed from Philosopher's Stone. Was there a new Harry Potter game? Oh, yeah, it, it got cancelled. Like, not actually canceled, but like canceled on Twitter because apparently somebody who worked on it was some kind of not progressive or something. Mm. I forget the story. It was just something stupid. As always uh, as Troy Levitt. That's who it is. Did you know Markiplier was the real creator of Harry Potter? God. Yep. Oh, fuck. Did you hear about that shit? A handful of windbags should be People were saying that Markiplier was the true creator of Finance at Freddy's because he made a lot of videos about it and people didn't like Scott Carthur anymore. Kids are morons. Well, these are all Zoomers who were like, they got they got run off fucking Tumblr and now they're just being ridiculous on Twitter. Yeah, Troy Levitt, we, uh, back in 2014 during Gamergate, he was, he was pro Gamergate and then he tried. He, he became like a professional game developer, and he was working on the Harry Potter game, and then he got canceled because they discovered his old YouTube channel. Damn, dude. The first Fantastic Beast movie was dumb but comfy. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Second one though. The fuck, second it was one was, awful. was was an embarrassment. Yep. It was it was so bad. Yeah. And they. Like more retconning, and you know it's rolling. Just be like, I have to make things more interesting again. Like she couldn't just leave well enough alone. Yeah, and it's not like the bold. books are Don't fantastic. It's just they're very good satire. Wait, which books? Harry Potter guns. makes fun of British society a lot. There's a lot of in jokes. Well, I thought that the Harry Potter like original books were okay. They're good. That's what I mean. I enjoyed them when I read them. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like she she thinks that she can outdo herself. She is roused up half the wild. And um, she just keeps reaching for that rainbow, and it ain't <laughs> happening because, well, well maybe it'll she's get to the point. Maybe it will get to the point where like she'll be desperate, and um, she'll approach Eliza Yudowski because his the methods of rationality is very popular even now, even though it's been done for seven years or six years. Like, listen, can we make a, a version of your fucking, like an, like an Elseworlds movie, of your story? Maybe. If there was ever going to be uh, a fanfic that deserved to be that one. Harry Potter, the adult human female. Oh my fucking god. You know, you'd think that there wouldn't be trans people in Harry Potter. Like, think about it for a minute. Because uh, Surely they have magic or potions or something that let you genital switch. Well, even just Polyjuice Potion, you know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. That was a major point of contention. Bastard. Yeah. Dude. Also, I don't understand why they have trans people in Star Trek. Like... Well... No, 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 because in Deep Space Nine, they established that they have perfect sex changes in Star Trek. Quark, it was an episode where Quark sex changes and sex changes back, and there's n and no worse for wear. They have they have that level of medical technology, so why, why would there ever be an actual trans person? Why wouldn't you just become the other physical sex? Maybe that's what happened. And they just no, because they have characters in the new Star Trek that are trans and they and they haven't transitioned. That's. See, it, it would make more sense for them to be people that have transitioned in the older shows and for it to not be a point in the newer shows 
just because the technology is so good. You know what I mean? Like, stop with your hate logic. <laughs> like, you, you know, well, I guess what I mean is you would think that a trans person in the future of Star Trek that isn't a Dax would be, would be like I'm trans. I guess I'll go get the surgery, and then they get the surgery, and, and then they just be the other gender, and they'd be cis, or the other sex. See, my my thought is that it, maybe it's just become so common that it's really not After all, anything that has to be he's covered by no, no, no. the plot. I, I agree, but in the new Star Trek, there's a person who's like I am trans. Yeah, but the new Star Trek is ridiculous <laughs> and bad, and has to point out it has to bring you know 2021 politics into to it when it's clearly not based in 2021. Yeah. <laughs> That's just bad writing. New Trek is non-canon. Yeah, if, if they're Even able to make a process that's that good, no one's going to notice. Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Something's going down, Zolf dude. barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. Oh, did someone peace out? Zolf. Ah, oh, you Dolph. See you, Google. Yeah, like Patrick Stewart being bald. Yeah, exactly. We, saw, we just watched it, dude. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. That guy peaced out, man. Zolf is not so happy. Zolf cursed the city. Cursed the bastion. Cursed me. Damn. Said he was going home. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Time to go kill him. Hmm. Something greasy. Yeah. It takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. That sucks there's no, uh, there's no music or anything here. Yeah, it's only in, only in the levels there's music, eh? Yeah. In your hub world here, there's not much going on. Not really. And I'm not, gonna, yeah, I'm not doing that stuff. Right. Yeah, I said, I said that earlier, really good time. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. Oh, God. The entire town's gonna collapse, isn't it? To put it back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Yeah. Oh, baby. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. You got a lot of areas to do, huh? No, not really, because a lot of stuff is like proving ground, proving ground. Well, what, what do you do when you... Are, are there like side areas, I guess? Yeah. They're just like... They're basically just challenges, and oh. I don't really need to do them to, to keep going with the game. So oh, okay. I'd rather oh. focus on the story. That and I suck at it, so. Oh, yeah, yeah that is the reason. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that, that, that goes without <laughs> saying, though. After Zolf's little episode, kids said Also, I noticed that, like, charge. because um, First Picture of a Little China was made in the 1980s, yeah. there was a lot of conflation between Chinese and Japanese stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That movie would be considered very racist today. Well, I let him go. Even and though it's fun as fuck. And yet, um, from what I was reading could tell, um, there's a lot of people that appreciate it because it, it was, you know, so Asian focused. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. You know, make the actual protagonist is, is a Chinese guy. And Zolf put us in a real that, I, um, that kind of humor. Employed a lot of, a lot of actors that normally would have trouble getting, getting jobs. Yeah. That kind of humor is what I call razy lacism. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. The <laughs> They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Doses. MacGyver. Man, if this this game ever gets a remake, they should haul in Christopher Walken. Shame the only place to fill that prescription do this voice. is out here in the wilds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this place is... No, here's what you do. This Chris place is Christopher <laughs> intoxicated. <laughs> Christopher Walken, but you know what we'll do? We'll give him like 20 years worth of cigarettes in one day and just say, puff them all. You want to kill Christopher Walken? You're for the sick. role, Dave. For the role. You're sick. <laughs> Cowbell. Don't know where he's gone. 
And Chris Walken is not, he is not a young man. No, he's in his 70s now. I think he's like 78 now. That's probably why I haven't seen him in anything in a while. He's probably fucking, he's probably got one foot in the grave. Could be. I don't know. Jesus. To be fair, he's kept in very good shape. Has he? Yeah. I mean, I, I haven't seen a, a recent picture of him, you know? Like, who knows? Well, I mean, he was, anyway. Uh, dude, you gotta, you gotta get a weapon. Yeah, melee weapon. Minato's the king of YouTube chat, apparently. What is... Oh. Yeah, there's more chatters in, um... And Twitch right now. But I can oh, see Christopher him, Reeve. That's right. Did you just confuse Christopher Walker for Steve Buscemi? I don't know if that's possible. Huh? This game has a story, dude. It's just completely told in voiceovers while you're fighting. So sometimes you miss it. I will say, though, this game has an excellent soundtrack. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, one thing I wanted to point out, though. Um, <laughs> the Japanese, one thing that they have that the Chinese don't have is that they really love their portmanteaus. Point, please. You know what a portmanteau is, right? Yes, I do. We'll explain that first. A combination of words. Uh, kind of like a, like a hybrid of words. Like a Rickyism. A Rickyism? Yeah. Okay, Dave, get, here, I'm going to put Dave on the spot. Give me a portmanteau, an example of portmanteau. Go. Water under the fridge. Water under the fridge. No, like a real one. A real one. Um. Damn it, you know I'm not. I'm no good on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a trivia guy. You have to be good on the spot. Uh, they don't usually ask what a portmanteau is. Yep, literally. Literally, as I try to think of it, it, it I blank out. I wonder if chat will be any smarter. Probably. There you go, sexting. Yeah. yeah. So it's sex and texting put together to make one word, sexting. Well, like, half of the fucking Japanese language is... Is portmanteaus. I was like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. They love that shit. Now the kids see something strange still. Also, um... Anybody else survive? I don't know what rookieism is. Fantastical. I mean, technically, Ricky is a, is a portmanteau, but it, it's also a portmanteau sure that is a mal Fine. series of malapropisms, <laughs> which, is, which is like water under the fridge. <laughs> yes, water yeah. under the fridge. I don't know. I didn't really study literature stuff so much. It's boring. It's okay, Dave. You won't use your degree anyway. Technically, I am. No, you're not. Sure. No, you're not. Yeah, it taught me critical thinking. You're not using fucking rhetoric for this shit. Sure, I am. Also, you need to go to school for critical thinking? What the fuck? <laughs> nah. I just wanted to piece of paper. <laughs> oh. They got a lot of slang, but in a lot of ways, Japanese English are actually kind of similar. They have both, they're both hyper versatile and flowery languages. Yeah. You, you got a hard head, dude. You got to hit him in the back. Yeah, I know. Also, drink your juice. Germans fold them, too. Yeah. Hold on, is fantastical not a real word? I thought it was. I thought it was. Apparently it's not. Or Frenemies, no. bromance, pilk. Oh god, yeah, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> like basically, just, yeah, hybrid, hybrids of... of yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. The only languages are English, Japanese, Russian, Polish. Everything else is just noise. Oh, okay. That's how it is, I guess, eh? Labradoodle. That's right, Bussy is a portmanteau. Yeah, boy pussy, yeah. Bussy yeah. gang, bussy gang, bussy gang, bussy gang, bussy gang, bussy gang, bussy gang. Dave, do you want to <coughs> spend 10 rocks on the boy hole? Kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous water. No? What is a rock, anyway? Rock? Yeah, it's like slang for money for money amount. No, because I think I think a, a stack is a thousand dollars. Isn't a rock ten thousand? It, it means like 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 a diamond. 
Right. Yeah. Just I'm just not familiar with it. Really? Damn, Dave. Dave, you gotta get more urban, my friend. <laughs> How about no? <laughs> urban. Does urban dictionary count? What aesthetic difference between femboy and trans woman? One of them's on hormones, I guess. Get all the emotes. Everyone's playing up with the emotes tonight. He has the nerve to flash the shield he stole. <laughs> God damn, dude, why are you a petty thief? Fuck you all. Um. You're getting fucked. You guys are all fucking weird in there today. I'm just gonna stay out of this one. Man. So. We're talking about certain things right now that are memes, and they are memes that are, um, what's the way to put it? They're relevant to this current time. Now, Dave, having gone through some of the old videos, and I've gone through some of the old videos. Yes. Oh shit, the bartender's dead. Rip. So, in going through those old videos from before, mm -hmm. how many times have you noticed like an ancient meme and been like, oh my god? I haven't seen enough and really noticed anything. I've noticed a few things. Like some old memes referenced in like thumbnails or in titles or in descriptions, you know? I mean, seeing the old credits. Just oh, yeah. I know, I know that you said you're like, oh my god, I can't believe that I used to look that way. <laughs> yep. So it's like looking at yeah. another person. Oh, really? Dude, that's like a 20 year old meme. Oh, really? It's from 1990. It's 22 years old. One of the first memes. You know what I mean? Yep. Oh wait, are you fighting yourself? Seems like it. What's going on here? He's come undone too. He sees what's left. Undone. Are we missing something? I don't know what's important. going on. I... <laughs> <laughs> Is this like the Tyler Durden moment? Build that wall and build it tall. Is this is this legit? Like yeah, he's having some kind of a dream. He, we'll talk about memes later. Damn. Thought we lost him, but he finally comes to. Good morning. Hope you're okay. Shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this. Oh, so you got some like before the end times memories. Before the dark for, time. For, forget, forgetting that shard. Nice. So memes. Yeah. There's like just just the, the, seeing old memes still on the internet is kind of strange. Kind of like seeing our old videos. Like Dave's uploading the videos from 2009 right now. Oh my oh, 2009 god! 2009 through to 2015. Also, say. seeing um, oh god, oh god, uh, seeing old form posts. Like, imagine you have like some kind of hardware and you have an issue with it, and you gotta like search up an error code, and the and the only thing you get is like a form post from 2002, and it's like I fixed it. It's like, how did you fix it, dude? What the fuck? Can you can I, but like it's too late to even know because it's been like 20 fucking years. You ever had that promise? Yeah. Like right now, for example. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, God damn. Or worse, on a mailing list. When when your fucking aging grandma prints off funny emails to show you next time you come over. Look at this. Look, Look at, at this, this fun, grandson. Girl. Ah. Oh, fucker. I got. I got a funny image from my emails. Mm 
Oh god. We'll take this to DMs. Thanks, you helped me fix it. What did you do? <laughs> you have no idea. See, I've been in those situations a couple times. And I've like tried to get myself into the headspace of the person who's posting. And I've been able to like intuit out what they did a couple times and I actually managed to fix it myself. And I'm just like, Jesus, what the fuck? Yes. Get prunes it down to size somehow. Somehow. Mother only knows what oh. Kid never much cared to could've speak gotten, Well, it could have gotten worse. That sucks, man. Oh, well. All your base. We'll base, take this to base, DMs. Base, oh, God. Base. It's a mailing message from 87 that helps you solve the problem, but if it isn't exactly the same problem, you might be screwed. Yeah. Damn, the dude. It's like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. Like that. Yeah, like, I, I've noticed that the nature of memes is that generally when they become funny in the widespread, you know, environment, they've already become old in the, um, in the subcultures that have birthed them. So, for example, a lot of the Wojak memes came from the guy who drew the Wojak, but also, like, a lot of the Feels memes came first from the, um, the, the Fit board on 4chan. And after they became old on that board, they became, like, widespread on Twitter and stuff. Mm. I'm just noticing that, you know? Like, and, they, and, and yeah, Pepe got first got big on, on the V board. R9K, yeah. No, I'm just noticing that, like, that's how memes are. Is that if you're a normie who's enjoying a meme, that means that the, the community that created that meme already hates it. Yeah. that's just how things go. Oh, she goes, bro. Yeah. And, do Lord fucking help you. If you got your meme off of nine gag, then you're you're fucking five years behind. <laughs> if you're feeling low, count on the buttery flavor of our own Bastion bourbon. Bastion bourbon. Ah, uh, bourbon. Or meme center, fuck. Meme center CX. <laughs> he ain't all that shy. Rage comics. Yeah, Pilk has a surprising half-life. Mo most memes die after about a month. They sort, they cycle through for about a month, and then they're and then they're gone, and then they become like dead memes. Yeah, However, a meme that truly embeds itself into the internet fabric is still used decades later, and one of those is like Pepe the Frog. <laughs> Pepe the Frog's like that. Wojaks are like that. Even rage comics, like like Dom brought up, are, are starting yeah. to come back. You know? uh, yeah. I feel like a or sir. like hello, Derpina. I feel like a sir. I feel like a sir. I was being f made fun of for using that. Doge. Well, keep in mind. Like, okay. Imagine your grandpa or your grandma shows up and is like, grandson. I heard about this funny internet thing. It's called, ah, uh, Ugandan Knuckles. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> you have to know the fucking way. <laughs> There's the first screen. This is speed to spit on us. What, what happened to that, that poor gorilla? They shot him. <laughs> Harambe, no. <laughs> like, you know what it's going to be? Legit. Mm. It's going to be millennials. <laughs> when they're like 85. <laughs> if they even make it that long. Oh, God. Can you imagine like millennials who have Alzheimer's and they're like, they're losing like decades of their memory. So they think they're like 35 again and they're still on Twitter and they're still posting about this shit. Oh my god. Can you imagine that bunch of geriatric SJWs? <laughs> geriatric SJWs. Oh. oh my god. For the love of god, find a cure for Alzheimer's. <laughs> that is the future you will reap otherwise. <laughs> oh, you're, 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 uh, you're. Uh... Oh man, you ever like watch a really old YouTube video? Like a really old one. And the person in is like, make sure to give this video five stars. And it's like, all right, dude. <laughs> YouTube hasn't had stars since, what, 2007? Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Learn to fear this place. See, 
Shogoth, I don't know if she's here, but Shogoth said it was a mistake for us to change the name to um, to Game Boomers. Because it was a it was a meme that had a half life and it would be gone in a few months. And I was like, you know what? No. I think the thirty year old boomer meme is gonna be one of those that that sticks. And I put I, I, I bet on it, and I was right. Turns out cool. it's been years and it's still going. People still talk about thirty year old boomers all the time. Also, real boomers are still alive. Yeah. Unfortunately. So I I, I, I can kind of sometimes if you've been around long enough, if you're old men like us, you can kind of feel when a meme is a flash in the pan and when it's gonna be when it's gonna be that garlic's gone, gone bad. Yeah, it has gone bad. Or it's also like like how did Bongo Cat survive? No, 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 not, 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 not keyboard cat. Bongo cat. The yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, cute. in fact, I actually think I put Bongo cat in. Yeah, I put him in it as a, as an emote. Yeah. No, Maverick. That's the real emote right there. Wait, Ninja just used it. I don't know what you're using, but it's not real. There you go, buddy. But yeah, like, I remember Bongo cat became a meme like two years ago on Twitter. And it just as it was, just as it was taking off, something huge happened. And I forget what it was. Something IRL happened and just cut it off completely and like destroyed it. And it was just and it was immediately pushed out of the. It was like some, some big news event and that turned into like the next meme. And so Bongo Cat like died like an instant death. But then it came back and it's now it just stayed back, you know. Swing, thank you very much for the sub. I do not have a fancy phrase to say beyond I enjoy your speech, thoughts, and content in today's age. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Might have been a Trump thing, yeah. Thanks for the support, everybody. Nice. All hail President Poopy Pants. Those pin cushions have been living off the ankle gator scraps. Queen Anne can't fit oh, down oh, some oh. of these narrow paths. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Tell getting high. <laughs> I can't help it. It's too good for my everything. Yeah. My everything. A Bongo Cat t shirt. Thank you for actually killing that thing off. Oh, well, that sounds good. Bruce, thank you for watching. Hello, Bruce. Adaptability and relevance of the traits, yeah. Some kind of twisted trait. Flexible enough meme because they were, yeah. So there were, like, remember the guy who was like, the, the meme was the, was the black guy tapping his forehead? That kind of fell out of relevance, but it's still used a little bit sometimes, you know? Use it for a bit. Yeah, no, a, a lot of those like memes where it's just literally a template that you put another topic into. Those memes, they can last sometimes. They can last for a while. Friggin'. He holds his ground. Seems the queen's running out of options. Yeah, fuck you, queen. The you first queen is on to me. The thicker the tall grass grows, kids gotta make a run for it. Yeah, the think the meme has been replaced by the invincible, the invincible version where he's like, he's like, think, think, and he's like doing this, and the guy's like bleeding on the floor. Pickability keeps it in circulation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Virgin and Chad has gone through so many iterations. Here's the funny thing though, I was around back in the old days on 4chan when, when Virgin and Chad was was uh, first created. And it, it was actually like the inverse meaning. The whole point of the Chad meme was that you had somebody who did things completely wrong and failed constantly, but his standing was so high he didn't care. But now Chad is somebody who does things completely wrong and still succeeds. <laughs> it's a subtle difference, but it is a difference. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. The shards. The virgin and Chad survived because the shards were left off. Yeah. Also, I think, uh, I think Giga Chad, G Giga Chad put, brought, brought some new life into it. Because he was actually a real person. You know, you know, 
You've seen Gary Chapman, he's, right? He's not. You see this? No, man, I looked into it. There's... I looked into it. He is. He, he's been he's... photoshopped by his girlfriend. But he's also a real person. I saw a picture of him in reality, and he looks like that. In a car? No. Uh, in, a, in, in a bar and also hiking. With his two brothers? Yeah. Yeah, apparently that was photoshopped. No, it wasn't. Seriously. There's one where he's in a in a in a bar and he's with his girlfriend and they're like sitting there and the, the guy's like, "Dude, I saw him get shot in real life." You see, they they the the black and white ones. Yeah, his name's Ernest Calamouth. The black and white ones. They did like accentuate certain things in the black and white ones, but he is a real guy. Yeah, but he's not he's not that built or or like. And or, yet, or that like his his chin isn't that obscenely huge. Yes, it is. Okay, fucking hold on. I'm Googling this motherfucker. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, see? Dude. And now he's made her mad. That's his chin. Right there. See that? Yeah. Apparently that was Photoshop. That's not Photoshop. That's his real fucking chin. I got a bridge to sell you. <laughs> you just... Okay. Listen. Just because your masculinity is currently threatened... By the existence of Giga Chad. Hey, hold on. I'll post the, what we're looking at in the chat. That. Rest in peace, Queen Anne. That was for the brushes. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll put it on the thing too. Does this work? I hope it does. It's done what needed to be Wait. done. Okay. Everyone, look. Okay. We're looking at this here. Okay? Shogoth Look at that fucking chin. Okay, Shogoth just pointed. Look at the Man fucking chin on this guy. We even got a crown jewel. The real guy's not. He's not that that chiseled. I just pointed I just posted the real guy. <laughs> he's not real. Trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Shogoth, Shogoth is agreeing with me on this, man. Let's see what the fuck he's this not, is. It's not that's him. Look at that chin, dude. No, the real one is the is the one, the color picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Dev, I think it just broke you. <laughs> time we built something new. That's funny though. Wow. Dev gets gaslit by <laughs> by Giga Chat. <laughs> the Sigma, Dave. Refuses to accept any man more masculine than him. Look at the light leave his eyes. Look when I told my kid Santa wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still believe. Yeah. It's still real to me, damn it. Now that's an old meme. Remember that one? Okay, there was a dude who actually believed that like WWE wrestling was real and not just like all like the storylines were all real the like, they were actually feuding and there was actually like stakes all right like they thought it was a real a real situation okay and he goes to this this like interview where they're all on stage just talking to each other and answering fan questions and he realizes these people don't actually hate each other and they're not actually like locked in a war to the death over this belt or over whatever and they're just talking like their coworkers and he, he gets to, to the mic to ask his question, and he starts crying. <laughs> He's like, I just want to tell you all how much I appreciate everything you've done with your bodies. And, like, everyone is just stunned, and he just, she just shrieks, It's still real to me, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> you haven't seen that before? <laughs> no, I haven't seen that, that level of mental illness in quite some time. <laughs> Until I go on a Twitter next. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's like a 10-year-old video now, but it's so fucking hilarious. God. We're at an hour. Do you want to you take a break here before you start spending more money? Yeah. I already spent it anyways. You fuck. fuck. Yeah, bitch. Something pointy. To fix In this instant, Dev's pineal gland has hardened. Oh, okay. His penis little gland. Oh. There was one dude I saw... Where, okay, so you know how when, you, uh, when you're when you born, you're attached by an umbilical cord, right? And the doctor snips it. 
And you have like a little piece that's still attached to you. You were born? Shut the fuck up. Okay. You have a little piece that's still attached to you, right? And basically over over time, that piece will eventually harden into like a, a black kind of crystal structure, then fall off of the baby. Yeah, yeah. And that's normal, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's this one dude who was like, as the father of the child, you must take the crystal, and what you do with it will determine your child's your child's uh, your child's destiny. Most parents just throw it, throw it out, which is why most and parents have garbage children. If you truly want to, uh, say, if you truly want to have your child have a good life, you must consume the crystal. You mean like the people, the women that eat the placenta? Yeah. So, so so the father has to eat the crystal off of his. <laughs> it's all gross. It's all, all of it. It's all fucking gross. That is disgusting. Stick the crystal in your urethra. I think I'd rather. <laughs> 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 fucking hell. All right, guys. We'll come back. We'll keep playing. We'll see you soon.